archetype as a character of like crazy combo, speedy, rushdown is like the antithesis of Pac-Man. He does not want to have to, he loves setting traps. He loves taking time to, you know, get his projectiles and his wall that he wants. So, ooh, it's gonna be, might be difficult for him to really put, like basically keep T-Gray at bay. But at least the start of this, yeah, looking kind of rough. Just the evasion and the mobility from Tigray is just what's putting in work right now. Yeah, it's going to take a tremendous amount of patience for Pac-Man to close this out. He's going to have to be really smart about Tigray's approaches because of how slippery Greninja is. You're going to have to be really cautious. Oh, wow. Oh, Pac-Man grab. Yeah, really, really good in this game. Yeah, yeah the fact that it lasts so long. Yeah. Oh, but speaking of good, that Greninja up smash is just so fantastic. <gasps> Oh, he ends up getting slightly misspacing that up smash. I don't know whether that would have killed, but it certainly would have been big. Yeah. And now Jay Flame is back to center stage, which is really where you want to be as Pac-Man. That or off the stage, depending on your, your mood at the time. Oh, wow. That almost was the stock, but managed to hit him with the last hit of the side B. Right now, Tigre just not letting him set up at all. Uh, he can't really just... Get that defensive wall going. And that's actually another thing. Greninja is such this really short frame. Like, deceptively, he's so low to the ground. And Pac-Man's hitboxes are not the greatest. So, right there, we earlier yeah. we saw him go for that short hop there and just completely whipped. So, I think he might have to adjust in terms of when he finds those rare times to actually punish, how he's going to punish him. But as it stands, 69% is all that's dished out on Tigre. And he seems pretty confident just moving back and forth and even a little bit more patient now that he has a lead he can work with. Yeah, Tigre is not showing any fear, which is really important because that's really the only way you're going to lose this matchup as Greninja is if you show too much respect towards Pac-Man and let Pac-Man do Pac-Man stuff. But um, if you just keep pressing buttons in his face, it's very tough for Pac-Man to do anything. <laughs> Oh, oh man. an unfortunate missed tech for Jayla Flame, and that puts him on his last stock. And Tigre has just been playing really solidly, from, pretty much from the start of this game to the finish. But the big thing, and maybe Jayla Flame, it looks like this is probably going to just be leading to game two pretty soon, that he could focus on is his effective, like how he punishes those tiny little overextensions that Tigre has. Because there have been quite a few times where he's actually found, like, found those moments where he could punish, but he just, like, wasn't able to actually catch Greninja. Okay, that was gone. That spooked me. Yeah, one thing that um, Jay Laflame has been doing that's really smart is um, using that long-lasting grab to just cover in dash-ins from Greninja. Knowing when he's going to land or dash above him, you just have that grab out there to, and it stays out there for so long that you can cover it. So utilizing more tactics like that in game two might be able to make this closer, but right now it's nearing a three-stock. Back air putting him way out and <laughs> wow he actually beat out that shadow sneak. <gasps> oh he lands on it though! <laughs> he took the stock. This was not a three stock. Yeah. This is a really cool way actually not to three stock. Yeah, pretty pretty cheeky little uh, attempt from T Gray, but did not pan out. <laughs> really smart there. Yeah. Not going for trampoline again, just letting him drift slowly back to the ledge. Oh, but 163%. This is ooh, absolutely death's door for Jay Flame. He might be able to get a little bit more damage in. I wouldn't be surprised if he could take another stock, but keep in mind there is another one in reserve waiting. Yeah, he's going to need a... Oh, never mind. All right. He's yep. going to need a game two. <laughs> but I will say the end of that game started to show those adaptations, started to punish more effectively. He had that really good combo string to start off that uh, the second stock on Tigre. So I would, I definitely think game two is going to be closer. I, he might be unfamiliar with the matchup, whereas Tigre probably actually has experience playing against Pac-Man, just Shinji being in this region. The one region where you have Pac-Man experience is uh, New York, but yeah. Uh, yeah, towards the end, he was doing what I was saying earlier about the grabbing, but with other tools too. Um, he was able to get that like shop going with the Hydrant into a projectile game. So I think it's just more so a matter of 
you let the Greninja come to you and make sure you can utilize your tools that to your advantage because if you just you have to just make sure you do that without letting Greninja walk over you. I'm wondering if maybe up be at a shield could be kind of useful. I know that it's not as good as it used to be for Pac-Man, but uh, there are a couple times where like he's been crossing him up a lot. Uh, especially like with dash attacks and even some of the aerials. So maybe a be out of shield could be a good answer, especially because Greninja doesn't like to run in and grab. He yeah. has really good shield pressure, so he doesn't need to. But that means that if you have a really fast out of shield option, I think speed is maybe more important than effectiveness, uh, just to dissuade him from coming in on you. Yeah, I mean, even though it's not the same as Smash 4, I still see Sinji use up out of shield all the time. It's definitely a really solid option, especially in a game like ultimate. Ooh. Ooh, never mind. He misspaced that and it almost cost him dearly, but he is alive and the game is even, which is much better than, you know, game one was. I think at this point already, uh, Jayla Flame had lost his first stop. Oh, there's an B. <gasps> oh, what? I don't know if that was, oh. that was tactical. I'll call that a tactical wow. dash attack. <laughs> Really good uh, awareness by um, Jay La Flame, knowing the position Tigre is going to be in after that hydrant, just tossing out that key. Um, actually, going to take the first stock, but now it's even back up. Let's see if you can get any mileage off of this invincibility. But it's so hard to catch Greninja, even when you're invincible. Yeah. <laughs> catching Greninja can just be tricky. But the adaptation coming from Jay La Flame is pretty crazy. Um, just yeah. this point last game. He barely put any percent, and now it's even, but... Oh, but let's not forget, adaptation, it's a two-way street, and right now, Tigre actually starting to catch his landing habits, which we didn't see too much of in last game, actually. Uh, a lot of it, like, a lot of the damage Tigre would get would be from more of a... Uh, <gasps> he can still land there! Oh, oh he could have jumped on the hydrant, uh, the, 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 the trampoline. trampoline, taking its last one. Yeah, that was a bit of a flow from Tigre. That would have been a huge swing. <gasps> oh, and it might be really bad for him. You know, I'd say, although Tigre is also adapting nicely, uh, I like that dialogue between the two of them, but if we see a game three, I think game three, just the nature of how it's been going, is going to be in Jayla Flame's favor, so you don't want to give him that chance. And he, that's exactly his game plan. Down tilt to up smash. That's something that Pac-Man doesn't really have, is a way to just to end someone's stock at 90% like that. Yeah, unless you get like a read with the bell, but it's way Even easier. Even then, like, yeah. you saw him get a read with the bell earlier it's and good. it didn't kill it there. It didn't kill it like whatever percent that was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can he counter the water? I I don't think so. I think you can counter near the hydrant. Like, it has like a... Oh, the high, I think that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Yeah, he's fishing for grabs now. This is looking really rough for Jayla Flame. Oh, that was so good. I wonder if... Nah, that was... At that point, there was nothing Jayla Flame could really do. The use of Hydro Pump off stage, that Pac-Man recovery that we were talking about can be so good. It was... Ended up... He was just in a bad spot over and over and over again. Yeah, it's like... It, you were mentioning earlier with the how you can kind of negate the side B with the recovery, but even further with the up B from Greninja, it also messes up the whole trampoline setup because if you're getting pushed around, it's going to be a lot harder to consistently land on your trampoline. And you saw that right there, close out the stock. So not, not only that, but um, if he had been... Um, there were a couple times there, I think twice, where he could have snapped the third charge from him and ended the stock much earlier. 